So if you remember, we took a quiz last week. It looked a lot like this. Um, I thought I'd do a couple of the problems on here and maybe not fully do all of them, but explain them in the context of the problems. Um, the first thing I put on here is, is a problem where we're just asking about a function. Um, this defines the function using a table. Um, many of you actually have done this before. You call it a t-chart where you have an x and a y here. And uh, the first thing I want to remind you of is that every single problem on here you can use a t-chart with. A t-chart works with any function and even things that aren't functions. So always remember as a last resort always go to a t-chart and I'll refer back to what I just said in a minute. Um, it says here to re represent the function by ordered pairs. That's very simple. An ordered pair is just an x, y set of numbers that refers to a graph like this one right here. For example, in this one, this function is represented by the orders pair 0, 3, 2, 5, 4, 7, and 6, 9. That's it. Uh, to graph this function, it's very simple. You use the t-chart given to create the ordered pairs and then graph the ordered pairs. 0, 3, 2, 5, 4, 7, and 6, 9. Now some of you on your 0, 3 went 0, 3 and put your 0, 3 right there and couldn't figure out what was wrong. Um, remember the X is first, the Y is second, just like you write it in the ordered pair. Cool? And then all we need to do is find some kind of a straight edge, like this one. and draw your line. All right. Now it says at the very last that we want to represent this function by an equation. Represent the function by ordered pairs, represent the function by a graph, and then represent the function by an equation. Well, you got to think about what an equation rep means. Remember the equation for a line is y equals m times x plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. All right, uh, meaning the place where the graph or the function goes through the y-axis. Well, that's pretty easy. It goes through the y-axis at 0, 3, so the number 3 goes right here. So we rewrite this equation as y equals mx plus 3 because it goes through the y-axis at 3. Well, what's the slope? Well, remember the slope is defined as, remember in our chart that we created, we found the slope, okay, by dividing y over x. Well, for every time that y goes 2, x goes 2. y goes 2, x goes 2. See, from 3 to 5 is a difference of 2, and from 0 to 2 is a difference of 2. So you're taking the difference in y over the difference in x. Well, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So our slope is 1. And that's our equation. So we have represented this equation by ordered pairs by a graph and by an equation given by y equals three, uh, 1x, which is the slope, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, plus 3.